Hey everyone, in today's video I'll cover how I made this outdoor patio table. So to start off, I made the legs first. I made the legs from a 2x6, which I cross cut to length and then ripped down the middle to give me four legs. Next, I sanded out the sharp edges made from the rip cut, as well as any logos that were on the legs. After the legs were finished, I cut four leg support pieces in similar fashion to how I made the legs previously. So before we go any further with the details, if you'd like to make this table for yourself, all the dimensions as well as the tools that I use can be found in the description. Next, I put pocket holes on the inside of the leg supports using my K4 Craig jig. With all the pieces cut, I laid everything out to begin assembling the first side frame for the table. I made sure everything was square, then I clamped the legs across the leg frames. This allowed me to secure the legs to the frame using the pocket holes that I had drilled earlier. So the frame piece at the top sits flush with the top of the legs, and then I used a 1x6 to measure spacing for the middle board from the bottom. I also put a 1x4 underneath the middle board to recess it from the frame just a little. After both pieces of the frame were made, I used some 1x4s to create a border that would connect the two frame pieces together. So I took two of these border pieces and clamped across the outside of the legs. Then they were secured in place using exterior deck screws. Next, I used the other border pieces on the opposite sides to cover up the joints where the table legs connect. As before, I pre-drilled all the holes and then I secured everything using exterior deck screws. This would complete the main frame of the table, so now it was time to cut a table top and a bottom shelf using a 1x4 appearance board to create flats. I used four of these slats to create the bottom shelf and I just equally spaced them the best I could. I didn't actually measure anything out. And then I pre-drilled each hole and then secured the slats in place using screws. The tabletop was made basically the same way, only I used a few more boards and I used two screws on each piece to keep the board securely in place. After I laid everything out, I clamped some scrap pieces across the top to keep the boards in place while I attached them to the frame. You can use any brand or any kind of exterior screws, but I chose Power Pro T25 screws as they're rated for exterior use. I've used these before with good results, so this has become my go-to brand. With the final screws in, this table was complete. I used treated lumber on this project, but I also used a clear coat of Thompson's water seal wood sealant to give the table a little extra protection when it's outside in the elements. 
Here are some final pictures of the table as well as some pictures of the Adirondack chairs that I built to go with this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, stay tuned for more.